Hello Pokemon trainers, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to get Necrozma, or Necrozma, who is the third legendary of the trio, we're assuming. It's not really confirmed, but it's pretty much, it seems like it. So Necrozma appears after you complete all of the Ultra Beast missions, which again are accessible once you beat the game and capture all of the Ultra Beasts. And Looker reports that there's a mysterious black shape that's been roaming around the Alola region. And he thinks it's an Ultra Beast, but in fact it's not. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you where to go, but first I want to show you who my team, what my team composition is looking like. I have a synchronizing Kadabra with the quiet nature so that I can find a quiet Necrozma. And then I have my Tapu Koko who's very good at helping me catch Pokemon because of the Tapu exclusive Z move. Then I have Guzzlord. And Guzzlord just has a massive HP stat. This is one of the Ultra Beasts. He has a massive HP stat and it's a Dark type. And one of Necrozma's most powerful moves right now, when we battle it, is going to be a very powerful Psychic type move. So having a couple Dark types on your team is going to be imperative to, to not dying to it. So I will be immune to its Psychic type stab. I also have Sableye on my team because Necrozma will have Prismatic Laser, which is a an exclusive move. It's extremely powerful. It's a Psychic move. So dark types are immune to it, so they won't take any damage. It also has the move Ring Out, which is a normal type move, so Sableye will be immune to that as well. Its other two moves are non-damaging moves. It has Stealth Rock, and it has one more move, I forgot what it is, but it's it's not an attacking move. Which means that my level 12 Sab Sableye is actually going to completely wall the Necrozma. So I'm just going to use Sableye as a way to switch into Necrozma once my the rest of my team is weakened, and I can just continuously throw balls at the Necrozma. So, to get to Necrozma, you're going to want to fly to the Melee Melee Iron route, route 1, this little feather that's kind of on the bottom right in the, on the map in Melee, Melee Island. Um, another way that you can get there, you're actually going to the 10 Carat Hill. So, so the 10 Carat Hill is located in the first island. It's a place that is not required to get through to complete the story, so you might not have encountered it if you didn't know it. So going from where the professor's little lab is on the beach, you go to the bottom left, you'll see these Tauros rocks, you'll break them, and you'll enter right here. And once inside, you're just going to follow this path all the way down, breaking through the rocks with Tauros. And then you're going to come up right here and out into this open area. This is where you catch rock rough, and this is called the farthest hollow, so it's actually fairly simple to get here. Once you are here, you're just going to ride around in the grass until Necrozma appears. And here we go. Necrozma, Necrozma. Very cool Pokemon. It's sleek and black. And it's a psychic type. I believe it's a pure psychic type. It actually hovers above the ground. So what we're going to do, we're going to switch into Tapu Koko and hope that he does not go for its super powerful exclusive move. I believe it's called Prismatic Laser. It's a 160 power special move that is essentially like Hyper Beam in that it renders it renders the user immobile for a turn afterward. Ooh, that did so much. Okay, well we're going to use our Guardian of Alola ability or uh, attack. And if we die this next turn, unfortunately, I, what I should have done, I should have kept Kadabra in and let it die so that I could get the free switch into Tapu Koko so that I could go for the Guardian of Alola move and then go for Nature's Madness. I guess if I really want to or really feel like I need to, I can revive Tapu Koko and then use Nature's Madness just to weaken the Necrozma further. So our favorite move here that helps us catch a Pokemon. Hopefully we don't die. Oh, it's using Iron Defense. Okay, nice. Okay. So like I said, it knows, it knows Iron Defense, it knows Ring Out, it knows its exclusive move, so this is going to allow us to at least get it into red health. Unless it, maybe it'll be nice and not, not attack us again, so we can get it even further down. Okay, it's going to use Ring Out. I'm not sure if this will kill. It probably will, though. Or is it kind of like, oh, it's kind of like a, kind of like Nature's Madness itself, I guess. I guess it won't kill, um, as long as you have some HP. I know Ring Out does more damage the more HP you have. Okay, so we're going to get to go for Nature's Madness one final time 
just to get Necrozma as low as we possibly can, and then that's going to allow us to have a little bit of an easier time when we throw the the Ultra Ball or whatever Pokeball we're going to decide to use. Maybe I'll use a Dusk Ball because, you know, Necrozma is all dark and, and it's black. Looks all forlorn. I think a Dusk Ball is pretty fitting. It is also nighttime in the game, so that might not be difficult. Let's try it. And if we run out of Dusk Balls, we have plenty of Ultra Balls, so I will be catching this thing at some point. Nope. Not that time. At this point, oh, here's we get to see its exclusive move. Okay. Not as cool as I thought. It just looks like it rains down prisms of color. Which is in fact cool, but for what the move sounded like, it definitely... So we're now we're going to go into our level 12 Sableye that is going to absolutely wall the heck out of this Necrozma. I don't care that I'm taking Stealth Rock damage. Oh wow, it's going to break out, okay. This thing doesn't want to be in a Dusk Ball. I'm okay to run out of the Dusk Balls, I have plenty of money, I can just buy more. One. Two. Oh, come on. This thing is tough to catch. I could try a Beast Ball, but apparently Beast Balls have a really low catch rate for non-Ultra Beasts. Although I did catch a Trap Inch in a Beast Ball. Flygon's one of my favorite Pokemon, so I'm super excited to breed Trap Inch uh, with the Beast Ball. Come on. Oh, it looked like it was going to happen. They always do that. Okay, look, we see, we, we don't take any damage from the Prismatic Laser, so we can just sit here all day with our baby Sableye and just throw a bunch of balls at this Necrozma until it gets in. I'm catching you at some point. You might as well just give in and do it now. Oh, it worked. My, my little, uh, my uh, condescending talk worked. <laughs> all right, we caught Necrozma. Awesome. And, oh, man, this is the annoying part. I'm going to fast forward after Sableye has grown a few levels. Okay, Necrozma's data will be added to the Pokedex. You know what the Pokedex feature should have? It should have where it shows you how to pronounce a Pokemon's name. <laughs> this would be a, a viable opportunity. Alright, you registered a legendary Pokemon. Reminiscent of the Ultra Beasts, this life form, apparently asleep underground, is thought to have come from another world in ancient times. And this is the Prism Pokemon. Alright, I'm not going to nickname it just yet. I don't know what clever thing to name it right now. But that's how you capture Necrozma in Pokemon Sun and Moon. The mysterious life form that appeared to be an Ultra Beast. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, that's how you catch it. You just go to the 10 Carat Hill, you go to the farthest hollow, which is just right through the, the doors. You have to use your Tauros. And you just ride around in the grass. I, I encountered three wild Pokemon before finally encountering Necrozma. So it might take you a little bit of time. I saw a video where someone battled Necrozma like right away. So it's going to vary. But this is where you catch it after you defeat all of the Ultra Beasts. So if this helped you out, please leave a like. And subscribe to the channel if you are interested in more Pokemon Sun and Moon content of all kinds. We do tips and tricks. We do battles. We do just fun videos. Um, it's just a great time here. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.